Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Tuesday, March 24th. Uh, what a day, what a week, what a year it's been for the newsletter. Just monster plays left and right. But uh, let's jump into it real quick. Here we have the Dow 15-minute chart. We've now run approximately 1,300 points over the last uh, couple of weeks. We had that little bullish falling wedge there, and we snapped back big yesterday, 500-point rally. We ended up going green today, but in the last hour, the profit takers just came in. Tough to resist, you know, especially after a 500-point move. If we flip over to the daily chart, we hit our target objective of the 50-day moving average and the 50% Fibonacci retracement. That was at uh, 77.75. Consolidated a little today after that big rally. Shorts are again trying to pile in. Uh, whether they are correct remains to be seen, but it is kind of difficult to call much more upside given the large rally we had yesterday. However, uh, wouldn't be surprised to see us try and go green again tomorrow, possibly get something similar to what happened uh, back in the first week in January. We had a big rally and then consolidated before the sell-off went. But when this happened and the large caps started selling off, the penny caps started exploding, which is exactly what we've seen happen over the last day or so, which is a great sign for us. Anyway, volume has tapered off over the last couple of sessions, so, you know, Shorts were complaining yesterday that volume was light on the upside, but it was light on the downside today as well. Indicators are all oversold, but, uh, you know, they still have some more upside. It would take a move over 8K now to uh, really break the back of the shorts. So uh, they're probably doubling and tripling down uh, today, and if we see some weakness tomorrow, SMH continues to consolidate here. No surprise that this 1920 area is offering strong resistance. We could even see the SMH pull back to, you know, the 17s before it really goes on its breakout move. So for that reason, we've booked some of our core and, and holding, you know, just a partial position on it right now. Winners, FTK, huge winner for us today. Hit first and second target. Uh, did ease a little on the close, but we closed above the 20-day exponential. Next target on this one would be two. And as I mentioned in the trading alert, you should have booked at least half gains on this one. We're up 25, almost 30% on it. And in a market like this, you book gains even though the chart looks fantastic. Uh, could see something similar to what happened late in December here. But uh, prudent thing, book profits when we have them and ride the partial positions. But... Another big winner for us today, LJPC. We've been really, really patient on this one over the last month. And today that patience paid off big time, 100% move. As I mentioned in the trading alert, we booked half gains on this one. And now we can just ride it up. Uh, no reason why this one, especially with the penny stocks taken off, this one can't see at least the 19 cent area. There is a massive naked short that is trapped big time in this one and could see a massive squeeze tomorrow on it. And likewise, like I mentioned, penny stocks taken off. We sent out a couple of trading alerts today. NEXM, nice big breakout on this one off a of base. Back in December, this one ran from $0.05 cents to $0.35. Cents. Stock is in a lot better shape now. Uh, earnings report last week, they said they have enough cash to last them through 2010. And, you know, this chart is screaming breakout move. Target 22 cents here. We're looking for 100% gain. RSI broke up. All the indicators look fantastic on this one. And, you know, there ain't too many of these uh, sub-20 stocks left, especially ones that have a decent balance sheet, and they are starting to move. LVWR is another one. Livewire, this was the old NMSS. Uh, by... All right, it's a buy, 12 cents and under, target 18 cents plus. We snagged it the last time back in December and got a fat 100% gain out of it. All the indicators are flashing a buy on it. ADX is breaking out. Stochastic's in a nice uptrend. We've got a positive MACD. RSI broke over 50. Looks great here. OSCI, another, you know, biotech penny with a nice little chart here. It actually busted loose late in the trading session. Target here, $0.30 cents would be a buy. 
anywhere under the 20 day exponential uh, 12 cents with pretty damn strong support at 8 cents again traders are hunting for these stocks as the market starts to roll over or flatline after a huge rally these micro and penny stocks just take off and there is a lot of trader interest in it rsi up through 50 positive macd cross today we just crossed from a very negative adx to a very positive and that's one thing i love to see on stocks that are breaking out and then stochastics also looks really really good here eln just a quick mention on this one big spike on this stock today 10 percent uh heavy volume biogen has their r d session tomorrow uh, a lot of news expected biogen is now pumping to sabri big time as you might remember they've been sort of down on uh to sabri which elon owns 50 percent with them um, over the last year or so but it looks like biogen is trying to ramp up sales for tasabri now and that is a positive for elon this stock when it starts moving usually moves for a few days rsi is under 50 stochastic still has a lot of up room and always goes up over 80 before the stock tops out so i would expect to see this stock make it to the sevens in the next few days BCON, you know, this is my favorite alternative energy play for this year. Posted in the chat room today that New York ISO, the independent, uh, you know, the electric board, asked FERC, the Federal Regulatory uh, Authority, for permission to use flywheel technology starting in May. And this, uh, if you don't recall, BCON is the company doing that for New York. So lots of press coming on BCON. This chart is just coiling for a move. You're going to wake up one of these days and see a boom, 70 cents. We also have the Department of Energy is starting to release monies to alternative energy companies. And it's almost a slam dunk that uh, BCON is going to get a fat loan for the Department of Energy and news like that is going to rocket this stock. So treading water, continuing to accumulate a position in this one. DSTI, another uh, solar play. We energize today. It's treading water here. Stops at one. We're looking for a move up to the 140 plus area in the near term. All the indicators, you know, ready for a move. Uh, just a small position right now. As you can see, this stock likes to just go boom. So, we're entering here and getting ready for another one of these up moves. One other penny stock to keep an eye on here. STKR uh, would look to add this one. 12 cents and under, preferably 11 cents. Uh, has pretty strong support at 9 cents. Breakout 16 cents. And like all these other penny plays, back in December they had nice spike highs, which was is our target objective on all of these, 30 cents. There is not or aren't many of these uh, micro stocks left, and traders are going to just pile into these over the next couple of days if, if uh, today was any indication of the momentum that's coming in them. So again, the market's just been fantastic for us over the last uh, couple of months. Strong support now on the Dow. Wouldn't get worried unless we lost the 7,600 area. And then, again, below that, we've got a pretty strong support band at uh, 74 to 7,500. Energy stocks actually might ease off a little over the next couple of days because the dollar looks like... Let's see, pull that chart. Dollar possibly has a near-term bottom here, but uh, tomorrow the Treasury starts buying tos toxic assets. So... They might go after the dollar again tomorrow. And this really is the reason that oil is breaking out. It's not that demand has picked up at all. So again, looking for the penny stocks to start breaking out. So that's what we positioned in. And all our runner stocks, partial gains. That's the name of the game. We get a big spike, take half off, ride the rest. And uh, you've got a gain in the pocket if the stock retraces. And if it continues to go higher, you still got a piece I mean, look at what PIRI or PIR sent a trading alert on this one uh, a week ago at uh, 11 to 12 cents. It hit a dollar today. That's almost a 900% gain in a week. No reason why in this kind of crazy environment, stocks like NEXM, LVWR, OSCI, STKR, no reason why one or a couple or all of these can't put on monster moves in the near term. So that's where we're positioning. That's it for the video tonight. See you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.